Hi guys, welcome back to Wigs with Steph. I'm Steph. Learning which skin tone you have is the very first step to understanding what hair colors will suit you the best. When I was first getting into wigs and even before that, even when I was in high school, I was part-time at a hair salon and I really did experiment with color. Like, all types of color. And most of the time I was wearing the wrong shade of color. I was either really washed out or wearing something so warm that it looked just not nice. My eyes looked dull underneath with the wrong hair color and my skin almost looked sickly. Like I, I just looked like a sick person <laughs> because I was wearing the wrong color. But really what does tone mean? The color tones we choose for our hair should be in harmony with those of our skin. So for example, warm skin tones tend to look the best against warm hair colors and cool tones tend to look the best in cool hair colors. What I've learned over the years is that if you take some time to learn your own skin tone and then choose wigs or hair colors, colors that are within that guideline, you won't ever go wrong with color guys and you'll always be looking radiant. Well, there's different skin tones that people fall into, different categories, so to speak. So there's cool toned. Cooler tones are defined by bluish or pink hues in the skin. And there's warm toned. Warmer undertones are usually peachy or yellow or golden in color. And then there's the neutrals. Neutral tends to be a combination of both warm and cool tones. And if you have olive skin tone, you can have any of the above colors below the surface of your skin with the addition of green or gray or yellowish hues. Now, I know that this probably sounds a little bit confusing, but it's super important to differentiate these undertones from the natural color of your skin, which has no correlation to your skin's undertone. For example, example, pale skin doesn't automatically mean cool undertones. Light skin can have warmer skin tone, while medium and darker skin can have cooler undertones and vice versa. So you might be asking, well, Steph, why is this important? Well, because your undertone will determine what color clothes, jewelry, makeup, and hair color will suit you the best. Because I lean mostly cool tone, I have mostly cool toned outfits. Um, such as this one. Now I do have some warm, but I don't have a lot. I have neutral and I have cool on purpose. When it's winter time and fall and I'm mostly cool anyways or springtime, I can wear my cooler outfits. And then when it's summertime, I can wear my more neutral clothes or outfits that have some warmer tones in here when I have more of a tan and I'm appearing more warm, then I can pull something like this off. So back to back, just to show you these two, this is more cool, this blue one, and this is more warm because of the colors in it. And then my wigs, which is some is just up in that box right there and then some are tucked away over there and then some I have downstairs. Yes, I have a lot of wigs, but I will actually choose wig colors that go with either my cooler outfit, so I would choose a cooler wig, or I would choose warmer hair color to go with my warmer dresses. So the first thing you can do is check your veins, guys. One of the quickest and simplest ways to determine your skin tone is to check your veins. Purple and blue veins indicate a cooler skin undertone, while green veins indicate a warmer skin tone. And if you see both, you're most likely neutral. So on my own skin, I see mostly purple and blue. So that to me tells me I'm cool tone. Now those with fair skin or more prominent veins, you're gonna find this vein test a lot easier. Now I used to struggle with this vein test. I used to hold it up against a white piece of paper. I would go out in sunlight. I would look at it in my house and I would be thinking like, my veins change color. Like they're just different colors and it's so hard to tell. And I just couldn't tell if it was like a green or a purple or was the blue a green or was it blue? So if that's you and you're struggling, we're gonna get into some other methods that I don't hear a lot of other people talking about to determine your tone. The next thing you can do, it's called the paper test. And all you need for the paper test is a mirror and a piece of white paper. What I want you to do is look in the mirror and hold the white piece of paper up to your face, or alternatively, you can wrap a white sheet around your shoulders and do it that way. So if you see a hint of yellow or orange on your skin against the paper, then you have warm undertones. And if your skin looks bluish, red, or pink, then you have 
cool undertones. And if you're somewhere in the middle, you've got a neutral skin tone. Now the next thing you can do is called the window test. So what I want you to do is go stand near a window with a mirror again and peer into your eyes. Does the skin beneath your eyes here look yellowish indicating a warm tone or more purpley with blue undertones? indicating a cool tone. Now what I recommend you guys do, like I am wearing makeup right now, when you do this, don't wear a drop of makeup. It's going to hinder your natural tone because, and as we'll discuss a little bit more in depth later, when you put makeup on your face, you can actually manipulate your skin color. Like if you're putting a warmer foundation on your face, for example, you're gonna appear slightly warmer than if you used a cooler foundation, right? So if you really wanna get down to what is your natural skin tone without the use of makeup, then you're gonna wanna make sure that your skin is totally bare and totally clean when you do this method. I do know that if I was to wear that warmer wig because I'm naturally cool toned without makeup, and then let's say I'm wearing that warm hair with no makeup on and go to the grocery store, that's when I'm going to look sickly because I don't have makeup on for the right color of wig or hair. Is that making sense? I hope that's making sense. Now the next one is the blusher test. So what I want you to do is dust a pink blush onto one cheek, and then I want you to brush a peach blush onto the other cheek and definitely apply it heavier than you typically would. So don't worry, you won't be walking around like this. You just need to stand near a window, grab your handheld mirror again, and look into the mirror at these different colors on your cheeks. What I want you to be asking yourself is, does the pink blush pick up pink tones in your skin? If so, you're likely cool toned. And if the peach blusher brings out yellowy gold tones in your skin, then that means you're warm toned. The other thing you can do guys is try on some jewelry. So you can try on gold jewelry and silver jewelry. This can be a really good indication of your skin tone. Typically those with cool undertones will suit silver jewelry better, while those with warm undertones will really pop and gold jewelry. I've got my silver and I've got my gold. I do personally think that I tend to look better in silver because I do lean more cold, but at the moment I have a bit of a tan and I can pull off the gold because at the moment I'm leaning more neutral. So I hope this is making a little more sense as we go along here. And now my question to you is do you tan easily? If you come home from a sunny vacation in Mexico, or Hawaii with a tan, you're most likely rocking a skin, a skin. You're most likely rocking a warm skin tone. Now those whose skin easily burns, or let's say your skin goes really pink in the sun, then you're most likely cool toned. But if you can tan, but notice pink tones in your skin, you're more likely neutral. So now you're probably thinking, this is great and all stuff, but now I wanna know what hair colors suit my skin tone because hopefully, and my goal of this whole video was that you've come to the end of this video and you now know what your skin tone is. I have good news because I've also made another video just for you to answer that very question and we're gonna be covering everything in it, literally breaking it down. And I've got a huge box of wigs beside me from my own collection. I'm gonna be putting them on and holding them up. Some of them look good on me, some of them don't. I have warm tones, cool tones, and neutral tones to show you just to prove my point. And by the end of that video, you are going to know what's going to be suiting your skin tone the best to look radiant and glowy all the time. So click on this video here and I will see you over there in that video.